Hello and welcome to PKR TV. We've got all the action from PKR.com, the world's friendliest poker site. Tonight's show, we're going to be taking a look back at the final table of the Sunday High Roller from the 27th of May. It's a weekly event with a buy-in of $162, and tonight's very lucky winner will walk away with $4,779. Looking after you this evening on commentary will be Dan Grant and Team PKR Pro, Scott Shelley. One hundred and eighteen runners. Eighteen got paid, but only six remain. One of the best known, perhaps, is Twister eighty six, Masters Champ, looking to add to a fine record. Bold. Hertzblatt. Nice way to start this final table. Opens with kings. Gets a shove from UK Brat. Bold. Can't blame him, but he's not going to like it. There you go. Yeah, it looks pretty standard to me. Ace Jack was relatively short. Six-handed is pretty big hand. Yeah, he had less than ten bigs. He would have loved to see the ace jack, but uh, that is him done. A rapid departure in sixth place for eight hundred and fifty bucks. Uh, winner's going to get four seven seven nine, and just five remain. One from the UK, one from the Ukraine, Austria, Germany, and Luxembourg make up the other seats. Truly global affair. Nice little raising hand here in the small blind. Big stack. Yeah, the big stack indeed. Raise. Ken Tyke looking for his first major victory on PKR. Twister won't be folding this. Raise. Yeah, you got to expect the free bet there, blind on blind. Nice sizing as well. Uh, tricky spot for King call. Queen, but he makes the call. Here comes the flop. Wow. I like Twister's size in here because although he's made it really cheap that the, the opponent's going to peel a lot, he's in, he's in position here with a hand that flops quite well. So even if he does miss, he's going to be able to pick up a bigger pot by getting the, the cool pre-flop. Let's check. have the turn card. Cheeky oh, wow. check behind, but it's got him into trouble. <laughs> yeah, he's... Most of the time, that check behind is going to get him really... That, that's, that might well get him the double up if, we, if it hadn't already yeah. got him the double up, that flop. But instead, exactly. this could be the end. Cool. Here comes the river. Wow, yeah. Twister checks flop, calls turn. Yeah, there's no point in raising the turn now he's checked back flop. Raising turn is just going to get all worse hands out and keep the better hands in. Bet. It's a big bet. It's 104,000 from Ken oh, Tice. this is such a... Cool. Yeah, I can't blame him for calling there. It's, just, it's a yucky spot, to be fair. A yucky spot, indeed. Yeah, I, I mean, if you if if you think about it this way, if the opponent's got ace jack, you figure he's going to four bet most of the time. They're blind on blind, so you'll be in any the only hands you're really worried about are two pair sort of hands. He's never going to have a bigger ace than your ace ten there, really. And the jack ten is also yeah, potentially in. Yeah, there. of course, jack ten's in his range. Yeah. Jack ten or two pair hands, he's going to be worried about rather than ace king. So sorry, not ace king, ace queen. Ace well, jack hands. he was staring at a double up, but instead it's. Uh, a crippling blow to his stack, and he's left with uh, under 10 big blinds. Yeah, he's got up eight, nine bigs now, isn't he? Listic from the UK. Another one looking for his first major victory on PKR. Opens with the ace 10. Going to see some big stack pressure here? Yeah, we're only five-handed, and uh, ace Raise two of gold. hearts shouldn't be dismissed instantly. Nice little spot, this. Depends what you think of the chip leader, really. It's quite player-dependent, well, don't you think? It is, but with players like Twister, who's got nine bigs, players like Holistic aren't are going to be... Sure. Well, I'm quite surprised he's made the call here. I would have figured he'd be just... Shoving it in. Up. Not shoving it in, throwing it in the bin, really. Oh, right, OK. okay. Just because he's, he's, he's getting... He's got um, 300k started at hand with... Ah, sorry, yeah. And Twister, with tw players like Twister, I'm saying, with short stacks, he's not going to be wanting to get too crazy with hands like Ace-10. I mean, he's not going to just open fold it. He should definitely right. be opening it, but I wouldn't have blamed him just for passing to the free bet just to stay out of the... Playing a big pot. Yep. Yeah, tricky spot. He called the three bet out of position. It's always oh, going yeah. to be difficult wow. after that. This is some interesting lines being taken. Creative. And, uh, yeah. well, there we go. He squeezed some value out of a tricky spot. Fantastic. And not lying down. Uh, the chip leader here takes a small dent but it's not the chips that he's lost uh, as much as the psychological impact it it says to the chip leader I'm not just going to uh, yeah. fold and you can't read your opponent for a jack there either but there's nothing else you can do with the ace too right no I mean unless you're going to 
Unless you've got knowledge and like history of this player that likes to check raise flops with air and you've seen this mm. and you're willing to just go the one bit distance and just put him in pretty much. I'm all in. <laughs> well, it's only 68,000 from old mate. But the 7-4 goes in the muck fairly quickly. And uh, crucial chips for the Aussie. Still near the red zone. Big hand here under the gun. Raise. He's going to get action, but I'd have much preferred him just to open and shove it. Really? Okay. Yeah, he's, he was playing like 13 bigs. Right. So just to open there, looks it looks really strong to me. Especially if I have handed, you'd be shoving. Fold. He's going to love this, though. Yeah. I fold. I fold. Cooler oh, yeah. situation. Great spot. Great Twister will be loving this as well. I mean, he's not one to oh, ladder yeah. up, but you'll take the free money. Yeah, there's there's never a spot where someone's been all in and I've been a short stack and I'm not rude for the big stack to take them out. <laughs> yeah. No matter what the money situation is, it's always nice to... But there we go, the short stack doubles. Yeah. And Twister's way behind him now. He's going to need to... A little spin up here. Yeah, that's right. He's certainly the most accomplished at this final table. Okay. The man from Belgium. Yeah. 26 and a half grand he won in 2011. From Luxembourg, no? Oh, is he... Yeah, yeah, my bad, my bad. Damn. I was just talking about Belgium for some reason. It's, it's Belgium oh. on the brain. But oh, there we he, go. he found a great spot. Yeah, well. He's going to be pretty upset if he doesn't get a little spin here. Oh, I'd, be so, I, I, I'd be devastated if he doesn't get if he doesn't get action. You've got like eight big blinds, you find queens. It, 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 it's, it's not a straightforward, yeah, it's not an obvious call there. Even though no, no, I don't, like think, 20, I don't think it is a call, but... Yeah. The twist there, he's just devastated. He's just, <laughs> I've been in that spot before. Right. You've got like literally no hat, no chips. And you also figure you're you, so short, you're gonna get. Yeah, ball. yeah. You find a hand, you're like, yes, I actually want to get some. <laughs> I want to get some action, and they just yeah. all muck. Fold, fold. Kind of Might see him shove it here. Yeah, can't blame him here. Yeah, I King figures to oh, be he's, good. He's gonna be in bad shape here. Yeah, yeah he's run into an old mate. Is. Uh, He's not one of those mid stacks where he worries about calling it either. Yeah. He's short enough that he figures to call it, and uh, that's all she wrote. He found the two case tens because someone folded jack ten. Oh yeah, and actually I forgot the old mate doubled yeah. up, so uh, I'm wrong about that one. But uh, twister, yeah. nothing you could do there. No, that's right. Uh, fifth place for our Masters champ, one thousand one hundred and fifty-one dollars. That leaves us. Uh, with only Hertzblatt as someone who's had a four-figure score on PKR, third in a 15 grand guarantee set. So a win for any of these guys would be a milestone. Oh, yeah. In it goes. And it's the majority of Holistic Stack. This is quite close. Bold. It's really player dependent, I've been there. Right. And it depends how you approach that stack. If you pass it, depends how you feel about uh, what you're going to do with that stack. Yeah. You know, if you feel that you're competent enough as a pre flop yeah. player I mean, he in this wasn't, situation, he wasn't going to be really, really short if he went with it. Right. I mean, sorry, he wasn't going to be really short if he folded the ace jack. It wasn't yeah. like he's only going to have ten to fifteen bigs. Still got over twenty bigs left. Playable stack. Ace jack for the chip leader. Raise fold. Wow, a measured three bet from Hertzblatt with the sixes. Oh. Begs the question, what will he do if the ace-jack moves in? Yeah, he surely committed himself now. I'd hate to see him fold if he gets put in here. So your centre is going to apply the pressure. Some pretty decent level poker going on here pre-flop. All in. He moves it in, oh. applies the pressure, snap. So he, yeah. he'd already made he his had, mind He had up. a plan. Oh, it's a great flop for the sixes. Oh dear, oh dear. I him. Still has a chance, but no, he loses yeah. that race. And, uh, you know, he wanted the win, the German. Yeah. Sorry about that, bud. Boxed him with a, <laughs> yeah. that's a good flop for the sixes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, fourth place and $1,500 okay. from the man from Baden. Baden, three remain. Fold. Well, big Please. chip leader now. I call. Defends the virtual min raise, does old mate. He's flopped good enough. Check. Kentike seems to have shut okay, down. All in. 
Yeah, he thinks he's got the best hand. He's going to try and right, yeah. shut down the hand now and pray that he doesn't see cool come up on the screen. Okay. Or well, maybe he was trying to appear weak, but that's kind of like a massive overbet. Yeah, I don't to, to appear weak. I don't think he's going to get looked up there by sevens. Right. It's the only hand he's being really eight no kicker. Yeah, and but uh, he's, he's got the best hand majority of the time there. Yeah, and these two guys with two hundred odd are certainly not going to feel like they're out of this. Oh no. 20 big blinds is plenty when you're playing three-handed, really. I'm going to call. Ace two opens the button. Prefer, I prefer to see a ship there from the ace eight rather than a call. Okay. Pretty strong hand three-handed, and your stack allows you to do that. Well, and the worst hand goes ahead. Holistic is going to perhaps find it difficult with his tournament on the line to put it in with just second pair and a terrible kicker. And we know that Ken Tyke, the big chip leader, is. It's good. He might even feel his two's good. Mm. Sounds, it certainly feels like his two's yeah, good. Yeah, he's going to bet, see what happens. I mean, it's, it's a board that you can see better a lot of the time. Yeah. And this is a question. There we go. Oh, he's made the min raise. Be interested to see if he's going to dustbin it, if he does get any action back. Yeah, indeed. Because he did leave, him sort of leave himself behind enough that it was sort 100, of... 100, 120. 150. He was like, yeah, <laughs> let me just see if we're good here. And with that, <laughs> yeah, and we, and we look. If not, we still got 150. Yeah, that's right. I mean, if you get shoved on there, you're going to feel yeah. like, how can your second pair possibly be good? Yeah. Raise. Well, there we go. Reward for the check raise is the ace-10. Makes it 2x. Feel a free bet here for some reason. Raise. There we yeah, go. you oh, felt wow. it. It's a fairly Old mate's sizable found one. a beautiful spot here. Ooh, and he's priced himself in with a 9 4 of spades, you would imagine. Yeah, I think he's got enough back to make the call. He makes the call and it's 338,000. He's live as they can be. Oh, wow. <laughs> it is. Oh, wow. Yeah. Can't be a spade. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there it is. An old mate uh, finds a nice spot to get it in, but uh, is rewarded with third place. Yeah. Pretty harsh. Oh dear. Be a bit sour about that. Yeah, uh, two thousand and seventy-one dollars, and we are heads up. It's Ukraine against the UK. Kiev versus London. I'm pretty sure that's not a Ukraine flag. Oh really? And I'm I the champion of flags. Well, then there's something going wrong with a flag because this guy's a hundred percent from really? Ukraine. So okay. Yeah, we'll just ignore that little glitch in the system in the matrix. Oh dear. Well, this could be over if. Ken Tyke can... Uh, oh, King or Jack Hyatt's oh, over. Oh, wow. Mm. It's interesting. I don't think either of them are going to be going anywhere. No, that's true. It's if the King Jack's going to play aggressively or not. I mean, he's got a strong hand, especially for heads up. He can easily have the best hand here. Yeah, it feels majority, like... A, the majority of the time, you've got the best hand and the best draw. It feels like a great spot it. to check raise, although he'll see now. He... Oh, he's going to hate this. Cool. Oh, he's just flat made the flat. Wow, he just has made the flat. I guess maybe he feels like there's know. no fold equity in the check shove on the flop. But 258 behind, you, you could have easily might, have gone for he it. He might feel his hand strong enough just to let him... I call. Right? That's what he's doing. Showdown right, value. Chop it up. Uh, chop well. it up I would love to have seen a blank and see if he just check snapped the river yeah. shove. <laughs> 10k. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is a mightily strong. Oh, he's only got but... 50k behind. <laughs> Cool. There you go. Thinks he's <laughs> inducing. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Especially for the kings, because he's like, well, I've got two of them. How can he have a king? <laughs> <laughs> Surely I'm doubling up here. Well, $2,800 for second place, 4700 for the win. I call. Then from the button, first time we've seen it, this entire show... I'm not. You don't mind it too nah, much? Not at all. Okay. <laughs> Kentucky leaps on it. He's saying no. Punish the limbers. Here comes the flop. I think I think with a hand like King Deuce, I probably do raise, but I don't mind limping the button playing these sort of stacks. He was playing like 40 bigs and he's the effective stack. Can mix it up a bit with some limps. Yeah, nothing for Ken Tyke, but we've seen that these guys are capable of Better. being extraordinarily creative. Yeah, I would have preferred to take a free one here. Raise. Just because I could see wow. this coming. Yeah. Wow, I it's mean, unbelievable. He looks at the 542 and... Uh, oh, wow, and the, the deuce is shoved. That's a great shove. That is a great shove. Fantastic great, great play. play. Play of the day thus far. <laughs> and has really uh, got his way back into this yeah. fight. I love that shove. Wow, that's really good. Uh, most impressive. I would have hated him to bet and then just be raised off it because it did look like... 
that Sentai was going right. for the, the little old Chet Rays. But also he li he opened limp the buttons, so yeah. five four two is you know you can have a fair piece of yeah. that certainly certainly uh, you can represent something there. <laughs> Nothing for anyone here. <laughs> who wants it is the question. So nowadays it's not about who bets first, but who is willing to go I the can, first. I can see just going to the river and Jack Hyde being the best yeah. hand. <laughs> well, I can see Ken like firing another barrel. I like, but it's I like to see what Holistic's doing after. Yeah. Flatten the flop if he's going to raise this turn. Indeed, and these guys are deepest now. Wow, it really is who's prepared. It's a game they of chicken. Yeah, they are going that in now. It's quite quite fun to watch. And we know that a shove will win it right here, and we've seen it before. I Both swear these, these, it's actually similar hands to the hand that that Ivy Jackson hand, isn't it? Wasn't it Jack High? I don't know, I can't Ivy remember. Had, remember that hand from the, yeah, the big hand when they re bluff, ago. bluff? Yeah, 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 it was a really old hand. But they were putting in six bets. At that, at that stage. It's not quite yeah. enough room here. Yes, yeah, true. <laughs> uh, really impressive from the Brit here, though, certainly taking the fight Rains. to the chip leader. Would have liked it a little bit bigger, not too much bigger. Just because I, I don't mind this sizing when you're in position, but our position... King high. I'm, I'm, Out of the three options, I'm going, I'm going, for, I'm going with this. Well, the, this the, wow, he calls. I, I'm not a fan of the call. Let's see the flop. Just because oh, you're giving dear. yourself the most chance to lose the pot now. Yeah. I mean, he didn't have to outflop him. The chances were you're going to lose the pot anyway with your ace nine because you're not going to hit the majority of the time. But saying that, that's the sort of board that these two might go crazy over. Yeah, it feels like they're playing. I mean, we know okay, that he folded, but you know, we're not seeing every yeah. hand here. But we're certainly, it certainly feels like they're yeah. playing every hand. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it does because neither of them have a pair most of the well, time. Exactly. They're both. They're, we're not seeing yeah. it where they've got genuine hands. Mm. Okay. Be surprised the ace nine flat there. And Big hand uh, heads up. Oh, wow. this could be it. Ordinarily, if we, you Thanks. know, you would expect this to go in pre flop. Don't flat. Well, after he played the previous hand, he might just be yeah. less inclined to flat, even if he'd oh, considered it. Go. Yeah, there we are. Well, from what we've seen from our chip leader, he's certainly not there one to go. pass that kind of hand. Oh, yeah. And this could there be it. Go. Here's the flop. Good flop for the eights. Got the only diamond. Just a few outs to fade. Yeah. There we go. Wow, that is the biggest pot of the tournament so far. By far. Massive chip lead now, five to one. New hand. 20 bigs. Plays 100 bigs. Yeah, and uh, here we go. Uh, Ken Tyke now has a different kind of situation. Obviously, with less than 20 bigs, blinds are up 6-12 now. I call. That's, that's a hand he's going to be going with. All in. Yep. I'm going to fold. Glad we didn't see a limp call there. <laughs> Wasn't a fan of that limp <laughs> right. there on the bottom of the Jack Deuce. Okay. King Deuce suited, I don't mind. Just I, I, Actually, I prefer raising King Deuce, but Jack Deuce off is just a hand that doesn't flop oh, well okay. at all. I'd rather just raise or fold there. Try and either nick the pot or yeah. standard yeah. shove, standard fold. Are you passing? Yeah, yeah. I mean... Uh, yeah, it's, it's way too much for him to be calling Jack Kine. Like some players might think, well, I'm going to give him a spin, suited cards, but okay. I tend not to do that when yeah. you don't need to. Unless he is shoving for like a ridiculously small amount. But that, w that wasn't the case there. Well, it's only his third Holy. final table on PKR Holistic, but he fall. is uh, acquitting himself very well indeed. Yeah, he's played a few hands very well. Okay, new hand. And uh, it doesn't look like he's going to give any courtesy double ups or really Rain. give any gifts at all. This Holy. is going to have to go. Gonna he's going to have to pick up some cards, Ken Tyke, really. Yeah. Well, he is so far. So far, he's three out of three. He's found big hands for his stack and heads up play. Holistic not going for it yet, though. Waiting for a better spot. This is it. Yeah, this is it. He's going to be upset to see that he's actually in a coin flip. Ooh, but he's got there. Yep. He's going to be a bit annoyed about that. But yeah, this contest still, is going to continue, and uh, I'm glad of it, too. Still got a decent chip lead, but right back in it, Sentai. New hand. Yeah, I mean, general quality of play from everyone at this final table was good, but certainly it, it feels like these two deserve to have been there at the death. Yeah. Massive hand here. See how he's going to choose to play it. Small re raise. Oh, I can see go. Ken Tyke. Oh, no. Oh, okay, wow. Fair enough. Got away from that quickly. I just get the feeling like he's. 
he's got his he finger just, on the trigger. It's just because he just doubled up. I think he was like, no, 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 no. I can, I've just got these. I've just got these chips. That's but, that, not, but that's nice. Though. I mean, that's one of the yeah. hardest things to do is to just pull back from the yeah. brink. You can see. Will he go for the limp? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he he, he doesn't want to pass, but to. Uh, I'm gonna fold. I like go. the limp just because he's. When he raises, his opponent's going to be shoving a lot of hands. Mm. And he's not going to be able to call a lot of hands. He'd rather, instead of just going to be giving up the button every hand and folding, mix it up with some limps. Can limp with some big hands. Hopefully the opponent shoves then. Yep. Yeah, Ken Tyke, we can see he's uh, he, he's won the majority of the hands in the last few minutes, but it hasn't got him anywhere. Yeah, he's still hovering it's around the 10 to 15 cold. big blind mark. Yeah, he's still up against it. And, uh, well, he's going to run into something sooner or later. New hand. Six hours on a Sunday night to get to this point. 162 bucks they paid. So it is I kind fold. of an elite contest. I'm all in. I fold. I um, took this down the other week. Is that right? Yeah. You, you, you waited uh, 23 minutes to, to tell us this fact. Well, you mentioned what a when, shame it's, when it's one, played. <laughs> what a shame that it wasn't a recorded. Otherwise one, yeah. yeah. I remember getting lucky free-handed. Against... I can't remember his name, but right. I did feel a bit bad. Okay. I'm all in. Fold. Got it in with three outs. And Put his there. chips to good use in the end, though. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Nice. We did. A couple of weeks ago now, I think. Two weeks ago, like two Sundays. Okay. New hand. Tricky little in. stack. Gets nice it fold. in. And uh, when these, I mean, these guys have got, s there's one or two differences between their two styles, but in terms of level or skill level, they're, they're pretty close. Yeah. Just on today's evidence. Yeah, I definitely say so. They're both willing, and, they're, uh, not, they're not both waiting for big hands to just get involved in pots. Right. They're willing to take the initiative and try right. and, as you can see here, he's got king, king high heads up. He think he's going to be going with that. Holistic thing about this. I think this is a cool here. I'm gonna fold. I'm not surprised. Not, not the worst just, fold, but yeah. I, just... I think he wants to make sure of this. Yeah. You know, yeah, I, he I, does. I think he's... He, he's the way he's played up until this point is such that he's just aired yeah. on the side of okay, I'll wait. He's like, I've got to this point now. Let me put my patience in now and wait for a spot to finish it off. Yeah, he can enough. do that a few times oh, before he gets close fold. to even. Any uh, sorry, Kentai, close. Wow, to even. did you see where he folded there? No. Folded deuces to the shove. <laughs> it just shows you so, he yeah, wants it, a dominating uh, yeah. lead, doesn't he? It backs up exactly what you just said, though, just there. He knows, obviously, he's going to be exactly flipping nearly every time now. It's not a million miles away from a Helmuth kind of style in this, yeah. in this kind of situation. I'd like to see him taking a bit of aggression sometimes and just like... I mean, now Sentai's chipped up a bit, maybe he doesn't want to be open shipping the button. But right. He needs to be showing that he can. But we're talking about calling off... Aren't we? No, he's no, no. taking. Well, I mean, he's taking yeah. a specific view of it his be, range in terms of he's tightened up his, his range. His calling off range can be ridiculously tight, but just he should be shoving maybe a oh, few yeah. more hands. But oh, I see, I see. Okay. See, this is going to be. I wonder if he's going to call this. I fold. He passes that too. So wow. Yeah. Okay. So oh, now we've gone, we've gone this from pocket two yeah. to an ace. Yeah. How? So what are we? What's he going to have to be? Pocket six. Well, he called with call? the eights. He called with the eights. Obviously. <laughs> well, I'm just saying he, we've got evidence that he will call with eights or better. So there's. So we know that there's somewhere in between there, yeah. which is the line. See, like hands like this. I call. I'd rather be shoving than just calling. Be interested to see if he's. Yeah, Ken Tyke's still got less than twenty bigs. Yeah, here, way less, so way less, like fifteen like, bigs. Yeah, King High is going to be best. Wow, right, see, look, he's taking advantage of it now. Wow, there. So he's, now he we're knows, he knows that he's going to. He's like literally waiting for a big but hand. Isn't that heads up poker? Is about adapting. Yeah. that's exactly what it is. And right now we can see, even though the short stack is yeah. being dominated purely by stack sizes, he's he's, he's, he's found a way. away. He has found a way. And so the only way... Oh, wow. Is he, oh, he's going to call the King Jack. We found the King Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. He needs some paint or spades. Oh, this could be spade. it. Oh, I've never wanted a heads-up match to go on. Yeah, yeah. This is great fun. Great match. I'm definitely interested to see where it goes from here. They must be quite similar. Well, Maybe not similar, but yeah, he's definitely... Yeah, now a different <laughs> proposition. But you know what? The, you... If you're holistic, how long do you do it before you have to adapt and stop limping? Yeah. Raise. You know, See, I think he's a good enough player to realise that. 
Wow, here we go. He calls with the ace. Oh, he wow. hits the ace. This could be it. Okay, let's go. So oh, he's got, the, he's got the flush draw as well. He's got a stranglehold on this. Unfortunate for Kentike. Sentike. Whoever. Can't even get the flag of his country right. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? Yeah. Amateurs. Oh, here we go. It's almost all but over here. Yeah. There we go. Deuce of Spades wins the tournament. <laughs> Always fun. Uh, that is an absolutely cracking win for the Brit. Uh, a really enthralling heads-up contest. Shows us how to play heads-up. Well, what a brilliant win for Holistic, who earns $4,779 for his time. And let's not forget the superb effort from the runner-up, Sentike 2. Uh, Dan, what a finish. Uh, yeah, I love that. We shouldn't, I guess, totally discount everything that happened in the first part of that and the people who came sixth, fifth, you know, fourth and third. But those two went at it right at the end. And the great structure of the tournament means we saw loads of kind of heads up clash there. And it is for me the best type of poker. I thought Holistic, he didn't want to give his opponent a spin. He really wanted that title, didn't leave it to chance. And uh, credit to him, I thought he played fantastic and deserved that win. Yeah, definitely. And Scott, two contrasting styles? Yeah, they both played very differently. I, I did like both of them, but maybe at different times. Um, Holistic's game was really snug and picked spots throughout, but Sentike heads up looked like the better player in the heads up game. Brilliant. Well, thank you, Scott. Thank you, Dan. And thank you guys for watching. We'll see you at the tables.